My name is Alex Levine, Alex Orange Drink. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Born in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, South Brooklyn. Now I live in Red Hook. I'm a musician. I work a few different jobs and I'm doing pretty well despite having a very restricted diet and, and a lot of the effort that goes into maintaining that, which is, which is like a job in itself, to be honest. But my day-to-day -day life is good. I have a, a band with my brothers. I walk around the neighborhood. I love this neighborhood. I got a lot of friends. Share the story. Yeah. I, mean, I only heard it one time. On the rock of the bay. I know that. Homocystinuria scientifically is the lack of an enzyme that enables you to digest homocysteine and methionine. It's a very rare genetic autosomal recessive trait that I was born with. I was diagnosed with HCU at newborn screening, 1987, Brooklyn, New York. I luckily was picked up in one of the few states that had newborn screening at the time of my birth. The psychological side effects even stripped the physical things away, which are horrible. Uh, ocular lens dislocation, you know, Marfan's and osteoporosis and heart problems. Just thinking about all that can give you a lot of anxiety. I have to take a full bottle of these a day. That's a lot of pills that you have to take. That's like one day of protein, basically. And I deal with it, but I don't think it needs to be that way. I think there needs to be some other kind of therapies that are that are on right on the verge. Okay, so I take a concoction of the pills, some of this one, some of this one, which is on back order now, they don't even make it anymore. That's one gel and two 15 HCUs. Let's shake it good. We're making the cocktail. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think one of the things that I developed at a pretty young age was the ability to turn something that seems to be an obstacle or something into a superpower. Well, I have this song. It's called Homocystinoria. Another checkup at the hospital. Another weekly physical. They take my blood and my mommy's dough with the butterfly needle. I remember when I was a kid, the, my old, uh, old doctors would say, maybe when you're in their like mid thirties, there'll be something, there'll be some thing. And you know, and I would think, oh my God, I'm not gonna live that long, 30, that's crazy. I, I couldn't even picture being that age. And now it's like, we're in the future, you know? We're like totally in the future. And the fact that there are, there are new therapies developing and possibly maybe a cure within the next 10 or 15 years is like crazy. That's crazy. I would really like to see some of those happen in the next in soon because it's been a real stalemate for about 10, 15 years in terms of, I think we're using kind of an archaic system to deal with like a rapidly advancing scientific field and uh, like a problem that um, just needs to meet like where the medical field is at right now. And the urgency of, of the disease and the diet if I could say anything to those kids who have it or older people that are living with it or have just found out or anything, it's that that's saved me. That's what kept me sharp. That's what kept me positive and alive. And that is like inner strength to not give up and to just go and deal with what you've got and wear it. Not like a badge of honor, but just like, this is something I do and I'm proud of who I am.